Fun Facts presents the 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, also known as the Copper Caddy. Let's get started now. The 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, also known as the Copper Caddy. The Copper Caddy is one bad cad. Cool custom rods are always a crowd pleaser, but none stuck out to us more than Jerry Logan's 1968 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, known as the Copper Caddy. Having made its world debut at the 2015 SEMA show, then featured in the two season finale of Velocity's Bitchin' Rides, <clears throat> Copper Caddy blends traditional custom cues with a new age power design and ingenuity. Okay, built by King Diggit Design, in Salt Lake City, Utah, the 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville is a full custom build from the frame to the endless copper details. But don't let this impeccable custom fool you, as for every unique aesthetic touch you see, there's a performance component to match, making this not only a gorgeous ride, but also a true performance machine on the road. Chopped four inches by Gene Winfield himself, then perfected by the King Diggit crew, Logan's Cadillac comes in incredibly unique form. Every nut, bolt, and body panel were touched with details ranging from custom trim and flush mount door handles to swept wheel well openings and manipulated body lines. And of course, this car would be known as the Copper Caddy without all of the copper details on the car, which range from inlays on the door handles to copper bullets on the custom grill and protrusions through the custom hood vents. Riding atop an Art Morrison frame featuring a parallel four link rear suspension with a pan hard bar, form meets function underneath the Cadillac that has a full body work and painted chassis with chrome accents to boot. Even the one off King Diggit design, 20 by 8 inch and 20 by 10 inch wheels, are a piece of working art as white wall sides are painted on the wheels. Powering the Cadillac is a monstrous GM Performance ZL1 454 Ramjet Limited spec engine with custom headers and exhaust system all beautifully topped with a one-of-a-kind body color intake with copper bullet accents. Backing the engine is a 4LAOE automatic transmission which pushes the Caddy's proven power to the rear wheels via a 3.73 geared rear end for even more kick in the pants. Inside is a shaved dash featuring custom billet gauges from Dakota Digital, a custom King Digit design steering wheel, and a core view seats wrapped in harvest leather. The custom center console with a chrome and body color inlay featuring copper bullet accents in the focal point of the JS custom interior, which is just incredibly stunning. One incredible unique ride. There's no telling where you'll see the Copper Caddy next, but one thing is for sure, wherever it goes, it will end up in the winner's circle. Amen. And this content was written by author Lindsay Fisher, okay, over at fuelcurve.com. There'll be credits below the video, and the photos are by Mike Harrington. And I'll leave a link to their website that you can look at all the other um, cars, features, 
everything that they have to do. What a great website called FuelCurve.com. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. And if you like the video, please give us a thumb up, thumbs up. It does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. And I promise you will have more videos every day is every day. I'm doing custom videos on custom cars and autoramas and the SEMA and every show that I can find that has hot rods and custom cars. So thank you for your participation. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. And most of all, take care and have a great day. See you in the next video.